I thought it was smart. You were doing like a TV show. Right. All right. And nobody really thought of you for movies or knew of they you and stuff. They didn't think of you as an adult even. By being in Showgirls, whether it was a good movie or a bad movie, mm -hmm. Everybody was talking about you. That's true. And, you know, and for all the criticism at the time, like here we are a year later and they still talk about yeah, it. Yeah, and you Surprise. probably thought. They hated it. it so much. And what did they say? Showgirls and Elizabeth Berkley. <laughs> right. You have now, total name recognition. And I thought at the time, I said, man, it was a Paul Verhoeven movie who's right. like a real well-known director. Basic Instinct. And RoboCop, right? Didn't he do mm -hmm. RoboCop? RoboCop, Total Recall. I mean, so to not have Lots taken that movies. type of opportunity. you got to be nuts. Yeah. I find it remarkable that he didn't get blamed for the movie. You did. I find that <laughs> remarkable. <laughs> well, considering I didn't write it or direct it or produce it, you know. But you see, like, there were some good actors in that movie, mm -hmm. but anyone who's in a bad movie, you think they can't act. And unfortunately, it's not like, let's say I had ten other mo movies that you could compare and say, oh, she's that and that, that right. and that. So it was your first people movie. thought, oh, she's that character. But the bottom line is, everybody knows the name Elizabeth Berkley now. Sometimes you wonder, with, you know, all that talent going for it and, you know, that yeah. kind of reputation on the director and everything, right. did it look that it was going to be that bad well, in the midst the, of filming. Yeah, while you were this shooting, did you think it was this good? This is the weirdest thing. Yeah. There was no indication <laughs> yeah. until literally <laughs> the day before. Really? I mean, I'm telling you, I went to the Cannes Film Festival. But I, what do you say? What about like when dailies? People going, hey, this no, is great. They were so inspired and loving it. I mean, the actual process of making the film it was, was fun. amazing. And I mean, there was this this whole kind of thing that was developing as far as the heat on the movie. Right. And, and there was just no indication until. I think it was like it was the day before it was released, yes. and then the reviews came out, and it, and I went. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the best way I can describe what I went. <laughs> you can't be good in a bad movie. Well, and the, the thing is, you know what? Look, you you have to take risks. Right. I mean, you did the from, smart I thing, had, though. I was one of the things is you know you take risks, and with that comes sometimes a beating. When you were getting blamed for that movie, I didn't blame you for that movie. You were in the movie. Big deal. Mm -hmm. I blame the director. The guy who wrote the script. It's nobody's fault. They did the best they could, I'm sure. No, they didn't. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, but you did it. You're, you were a young actress wanting to make it, and you got your own starring vehicle. Yes, which, I mean, in, in and of itself was pretty amazing, especially after the show. You know, I had made a decision, okay, I don't want to do television anymore. Right. And I had auditioned. It took, like, almost three years. It was it was tough there for a while. So when you went to audition for First Wives Club, were they yeah. like, oh, you can't be in the movies. You were in uh, Showgirls. Well, I think the hardest thing is, you know, people have a lot of preconceived notions. Right. So they think I'm going to be one specific thing when in fact I'm not no one is one specific right thing, you know so I am I mean, but I mean, I'm very shallow go ahead <laughs>